In the last video, we looked at querying blocks on Ethereum using Go. In this video, we're going to go a little bit deeper and look into querying transactions. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Be sure to click on the notification icon so you can be updated whenever I post new videos. Now let's get into the code. Okay, I've created an empty directory called query transactions and I've gone ahead and created a main.go file and put a little bit of boilerplate in here. So we've already got a client set up to connect to the Ethereum mainnet using Infura's public node. The next thing we want to do is start by grabbing a block and then iterating through the different transactions associated with that block. So we're gonna need a block number and then we're going to query the block by its number. Next, we want to range or iterate through the transactions belonging to that block. And we can do that by using the block.transactions function. So inside this loop, I'm just gonna print out a bunch of different information about the block. So as you can see, we can get the hash, the value, the gas used in the transaction, the gas price in the transaction, the nonce, the actual data. So if there was a contract being deployed, you can see all the, uh, the data um, associated with that as well as uh, who this transaction was being sent to. Next, we can see whether the transaction had succeeded or failed by grabbing the receipt and then looking at the status of that receipt. So we do this by using the transaction receipt function on client and then passing it the transaction hash. Now that we have the receipt, we can just print that out. And just to separate all the transactions, I'm just gonna print out some dashes. So let's save this. And if we run this, we can actually see all the different transactions associated with this block. The hash for the transaction, the value in way, so that's why there's a lot of zeros there gas, gas price, nonce, and then uh, who this is to, whether it succeeded or failed. If we scroll up here, we can see all these crazy numbers. This is actually data associated with the transaction. And this is probably somebody uh, deploying a contract. So we can actually take this hash and then open it up in Etherscan. We'll paste it here. Have a look. And it looks like it wasn't a contract being deployed, but it was a bunch of tokens being transferred. Pretty cool. We can also iterate through our transactions of a block by their index. So we're gonna do that now. First, we're going to get the hash of a random block. Then we're gonna get the transaction count of that hash. Once we have the count, we can just use a simple for loop. Then we can use the transaction in block function, pass the block hash, the index, and then get the transaction. Once we have the transaction, we can just go ahead and print out its hash. We'll hit save. We don't need that block number anymore. Go ahead and run it. And you can see all the different transaction hashes associated with that block. Lastly, we can grab individual transactions by their hash. So let's take a random hash and grab that transaction using the transaction by hash function. Notice that the transaction by hash function passes this is pending return variable. So this will tell you whether or not the transaction has actually been confirmed or is still pending on the blockchain. Once we have the transaction, we can go ahead and print the hash and whether or not it's pending. We'll save it. And if we run it, We 
we can get the hash and see that it's not pending. And that's it. Those are the basics for querying transactions on Ethereum using Go. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, be sure to leave any questions or comments you may have down below. Also, if you like this channel and are looking for something a little bit different, I have a second YouTube channel where I basically post videos of my travels and experiences across the world. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Once again, thanks for watching.